cater your lessons to all types of learners. Today's video is all about our visual learners who thrive on that visual stimulation. Whether it's through images, videos, diagrams, or interactive activities, visual aids make abstract ideas more concrete and easier to understand, helping to enhance their comprehension and retention. In today's video, I will seamlessly show you how you can add a visual drawing activity right inside your PowerPoint presentations to keep your students actively engaged and more hands-on with the material. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll go through five different visual activities that you can add into your lessons. To send your students a slide, have them draw on it, then submit it back to you, all done right inside PowerPoint, we're gonna be using the free PowerPoint add-in class point. ClassPoint is super easy to get started with once you sign up and download and install it from classpoint.io. It will appear here in your PowerPoint ribbon as the Inkno ClassPoint tab for seamless editing when you're setting up your PowerPoint presentations. To get this activity set up and running in your presentation, it only takes a few steps. Step number one is to create that activity slide. So you can open up any blank PowerPoint file, or if you already have a lesson prepared that you wanna make more interactive, like I have here, you can open up that file too. So for this activity, we can you know, have it anywhere in our presentation. You might want it at the end to check for understanding, or we can put it at the beginning for a little warm up question. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna duplicate this slide to create a new one, and we need to add our question onto this slide. So let's get rid of all this extra stuff, and I'm just gonna paste in my question here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So I always like to keep my question right at the top of the slide. That way students have a lot of space to draw underneath. However, you can also add charts, diagrams, or graphs onto the slide for the students to draw on top of. So for this example, I'm actually gonna add in some circles. That way each one of these particles in motion has their very own place to be drawn in. So let's go ahead and edit the shape. Give it a quick duplicate and another. Move these over. Once your slide looks the way you would like, now it's time for step number two to make it interactive. To do that, we're gonna go to the Inkno Class Point tab up at the top and click on the slide drawing icon up here. It will add that interactive button onto our slide so this can be moved to be placed wherever it's needed. And you'll see that on the side, the side panel has opened up with a few customizable options for your question. So if you prefer to hide the participant names that way students can submit anonymously, go ahead and check that. But for now, I think that this question looks good so all the setup is complete. For step number three, let's run through an example of what this activity would look like in class with your students. To start, let's go into our PowerPoint slideshow and we'll need to invite our students to join the class. This way they can interact with our presentation and submit our, their responses. So to do that, let's click on this class code up in the corner and you'll see that you can scan the, students can scan the QR code to join the class or they can go to classpoint.app using any browser. So I actually have an iPad here that I'm gonna to use to follow along on the student side. But again, students can use any device, a phone, a laptop, a tablet, you name it, as long as they have access to the internet. So let me go to classpoint.app, excellent. And then students will need to type in the class code that they see on screen, either here or up in the corner. So we have 61870 here. They can press enter. And if they've already joined a class point class before, their name will already appear on screen. So we can just go ahead and let's go. And then we'll be joined into the class. On the teacher side, however, you'll be able to see once all of your students are joined in, we can exit out of this window. Then to begin our slide drawing activity, when you're ready, we can just click on the slide drawing. Students will be able to see the slide and the question icon here. So they can click open slide to then go ahead and draw on this slide and submit their response to you. So you'll see that they have a whole host of tools down at the bottom. So we can use our different pens to draw on screen and it won't be very nice for me here. I'll just do a little quick run through. And once they're done drawing, they can click submit and you'll be able to review all of their responses on your screen. 
So you can see all of your students who have responded down here at the bottom. And if it's not all of your students, you know, or at the beginning you didn't want them to see their responses, you can always minimize this window and open it up by clicking back into this yellow button. So once all those responses have been submitted, we can go ahead and close our question. So let's close this here. And then if you want to find a specific student, you can search on their name to see their response and award them a star if needed. To dive deeper into any of your questions, feel free to click on a response and view it in the light box view. So you can toggle between questions here and we can also insert this as a slide in our presentation. That way we can use ClassPoint's annotation tools and draw right on top of this presentation. This way students are able to see the full activity and fully comprehend it as well. Again, all of these responses are saved automatically in your presentation, which is denoted by this green button here so you can open up to review at any time. Or after class, we can also review these questions with the report tab in the class point ribbon. So this will open up our class point web app here. We can end the class that we just had and you'll be able to review all of those responses that you did right on the web. Excellent. Do you see how easy it is to add visual activities for your learners into PowerPoint? Coming up, I have five other ideas for you. This first one is ClassPoint's draggable objects. This way you can show visuals and movement right in your PowerPoint presentation. For more information on this, take a look at the video linked up above. You can also add mind maps into your presentations and annotate on top of them using ClassPoint's annotation tools. Or if you run out of space, use ClassPoint's whiteboard to add more space and start a class discussion with your students. You could also use other interactive activity types like the video, audio, and image upload questions. Or try out a virtual field trip using an embedded browser. And then of course you can add in different visual aids like images, videos, infographics, charts, graphs, you name it, you can add them into your PowerPoint presentation, along with animations, less text on your slide and strategic coloring. For more information about the design aspect of your PowerPoint, take a look at the video linked up above. And lastly, add in some 3D PowerPoint models. That way you get that nice 360 view of an object. There are so many activities for visual learners that you can add into your presentation. So try them out and let us know what your students think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you can stay updated with the latest PowerPoint, EdTech, and ClassPoint tips and tricks.